You're listening to Life Stories on Talk Radio Wales. The people at the heart of your community telling it as it is. I'm with Simon James Card, the Managing Director of Brecon Eco Village. Uh, Simon, we've been in Ghana and today we've spoken to a couple of councillors. We've spoken to some business people about the cost of living crisis. What is the impact at the moment on businesses? Um, how difficult is it? How much bureaucracy is in your way to sort of succeeding really and contributing to that economy? So how, how does that work with you with what you're doing? Well, to give you an idea, Anne, it took us three years to get full plan information on a scheme that Kamalin County Council was desperate to get involved in. Mm. Um, so bi- bureaucracy has weighed heavy on the progress of the business. Yeah. Um, trying to get things through planning has been incredibly difficult. Mm. Um, fraught with just paperwork and more paperwork on paperwork getting lost. Um, but to say you can't blame one person, um, but the, the systems that you have to work through are incredibly difficult, very time consuming. Um, and when you get to your end game, which Bre- Breckenville was, you feel a little bit, um, how can I say, not, w- not wanted or not um, perceived as being um, what we wanted to achieve, we, we've achieved something that nobody else has achieved in Britain. Mm. And that was, we have built the first zero carbon village for tourism in Britain. All right. And not one politician from the Welsh Assembly, mm. not one <clears throat> member of Marling County Council has ever been to see what we've achieved. Mm. Which leaves a massive sort of what was the point? You know, everybody talks about let's get the planet back on track. Mm. Let's do something positive. Let's all drive electric cars. Mm. And we all about, you know, it's all about um, ecotourism, trying to get people to understand, you know, the planet and, the, and flying is detrimental to the planet. And yet there is no recognition from anybody that is in power. What do you think? And of, yet they're what, the ones that are telling us that we've got to change. So what, what do you think when you hear things like the Green Man uh, Festival meeting with ministers for buying a farm at £4.25 million pounds of public Absolutely money? Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, that, that, you know, it's just one festival, all that amount of money. What, what could be done with mm. that amount on on multiple scales. We've been talking to farmers about the tree planting on productive land. We've been talking to people about the one planet development, the difficulties they had in getting that uh, up and off the ground in Llandailo with. You know, politicians are, are going on about this 20 mile an hour speed limit. Has anybody ever tried to drive at 20 miles an hour? Mm. It's ridiculous. They're talking about putting a 50 mile an hour speed restriction on the M4. That will devastate tourism mm. because people just will not want to go on a motorway and see 50 miles an hour everywhere. You but, know, it, it's difficult enough just trying to get to Pembroke on a Friday afternoon. Yeah, my, my son <laughs> my son has just gone down to Cornwall for a week and uh, upon arriving in Cornwall, he went out just for a little walk and within minutes he texted me and said, Dad, Wales is so far behind, I really don't want to come back. You know, that's that's a boy who's been brought up in this area. Yes, we got beautiful beaches. Yes, we got the mountains and the valleys. Yes, but the, we're having tourism tax. We, if you if you try and drive a car with your friends visiting here, and you go to visit three or four um, establishments or tourism hotspots or whatever, you're talking about close to a hundred quid on parking. And again, why would you strap the tolls on the same bridge mm. and then introduce? A tourist pack. <laughs> yeah. Why would you do that? Yeah. Because strap the toll for uh, HGV. I mm. totally agree with that because all you do is restrict Welsh lorries, Welsh businesses from expanding. Yeah. But as for cars coming in and out, mm. you know, you, you do away with one tax and then you superimpose another tax on the top, which is exactly the same. Mm. And the thing is then, as business like us, We'd have to then collect our tax. We have to do VAT. We have to do income tax. Mm. We have to do all these, and then there's another one. How do how do we how do we compete? Is is what we say. Mm. You know how do you compete 
with um, Cornwell, as you said, Alan. Are you, are you open for business now? Yes, we're open for business. And where, where are the people coming colleges. from? Where are they coming from um, generally? Our demographic is very easy to, uh, to, to tell you. It's M4 corridor right. and uh, M5 corridor. And they're coming so, for a specific purpose because the, I guess your marketing strategy is that you are a, a zero carbon tourism destination. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm. And our expansion is then hindered um, by Welsh government and Carmarthen County Council bureaucracy. Mm. So the next stage of the village is to build the single biggest spa in Wales. Mm. Uh, that would produce 60 jobs, Alan. You're, you're, 60 uh, jobs in the KTV one deprived area. I'm, I'm, well, exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. You know, you have chosen one of the, the, the most deprived areas, really, in Carmarthenshire. Yes. Why did you, why the, did you that choose that? The deprived area has got beautiful views over the Brecon Beacon. Yeah, yeah. It's got beautiful walks. Yeah. Which, again, we, we, we I, own, I, I joined as a, a counsellor to try to get the walks suitable for dogs, because yeah. most of them aren't. Um you know, Kamali County Council have, has got um, miles without styles, but that is too slow. You know, I've got three dogs. One of them is a 42 kilo German Shepherd. Trying to get her over a style is virtually impossible with barbed wire each side of you. Um, but they don't see this. There you know, is they a, want to be. There is a sorry. very sort of active uh, tourism department in Kamali, Sharon. We won the national award yeah. for ecotourism um, and Again, I go back to, as I said before, nobody has ever approached us from Command and County Council, yeah. whether it be the executive or the politicians involved in it. Yeah. They've never approached us, pro- approached us from the Welsh Assembly. Um, we, we're totally ignored. And yet when we can produce jobs, we get then get to the ridiculously bureaucratic um, mm. nonsense of... so. Uh, if I can run this scenario by you. So we, we want to build a spa. Yeah. And obviously to build a spa, we need grants the same as all the major companies. I think yeah. Martins have, have got matching, matching grants. But how does this work? So we ask for a grant and then they say, yeah, okay, you can have this grant. But if you start, you're deemed not to need the grant. Right. This is both from Welsh Assembly and from Martin County Council. Right. So remember now, let's categorize this. This grant is for jobs at the end. Yeah. So we produce 60 jobs. Apparently, if you start, you don't need the grant. Mm. But investors want you to start to show your ability to create the biggest spine wheels. Yeah. Then you have to go out to South Wales. We are, as a wing of Bracken Vehicle Village, We've developed that development all on our own. So mm. we are developers. Yeah. So why would we, as a company, want anybody else to build our building with profit? Mm. We would build that building without profit. So again, your 60 jobs are in peril because of the rules that are imposed by people who haven't got a clear what's going on. Can I come back to Lee Water? We have invited him up because obviously he is shadow. Um, That's right, environmental. He's so environmental. We've invited him up over Facebook. I've been in his office several times. And if he didn't even know his subject, we could help him with learning the subject so yeah. he understands what, how you need to get to zero carbon. Yeah. He's never taken that invite up. And that, to me, when we're the first in the UK, mm. that, to me, says a massive amount. Mm. You know, you, he can bang on about his 20-mile-an-hour speed limit, but at the end of the day, if you don't acknowledge a first for, the, for not just to Marthenshire, but for Will, mm. and you can't be asked <laughs> to, to turn up and say, explain to me how you've managed to get to where you are, because everybody tells you, it's impossible to get a zero carbon. It, it, it doesn't make me angry. It just makes me super frustrated that me and my fellow dressers have invested so much in this project. Um, and you just think none of the Welsh government recognize it. Mm. They don't care. Um, so everything you say, as you say, you know, they, they're not properly qualified to do their job. They're not financiers in, in accountancy. They're not, well, obviously Lee is not, 
uh, environmental because and, and they get these jobs these these positions it's, it's a joke so are you kind of you're, you're happy where you are now and what you're doing and, and sort of you know the, as, as the business goes you're not sort of tempted to uh, say like some some of the businesses have in the past you know we're out of here you know this is this is just uh, Wales isn't the right place to be let's let's, let's go to Devon let's go to Cornwall let's go to Galicia let's go to Brittany the, with us Alan there's such a massive investment into, into Garland and the village itself and the people there because our Bregg and Vewick village was always always to do with community and mm. um, bringing people in that so the community thrives the pubs thrive the chemists the shops um, and it, it, it was always that concept of, of the idea of it fitting into the community and enhancing the community and giving jobs but you know when you have a dangly carrot of 60 jobs in in a, in a that area and it just is completely not, it, it's as if they don't want it when a place looks tired people don't want to visit there the biggest impact is that the people that live there mm. have no pride. Yeah. You know, I, I, I love where, I love Garnet, but, you know, putting flowers out and making the place just look really nice for everybody that lives there, everybody that comes there. It's not a big, it's not a big task, but yeah. it seems to be, um, well, it, it just doesn't get done to, to a degree where you think, wow, this is lovely. Banners, you know, everywhere you go now, there's banners telling you about the history of something on lampposts and everything. Yeah. Small things like that where people come in and thought, yeah, we were a mining community, we've lost mining, but now we've, we, we, we're becoming something else. Yeah. We're, we're mutating into a tourist destination and, and the, the village is thriving and the town of Kamaman is thriving. Just taking that pride and saying, wow, you know, this, this I, I live here, and I actually love living here. Yeah, so you, you wonder then what the what the the, the the sort of job and what the tourism department are doing. Another one of their billboards was uh, in Clenetley there, uh, a man uh, and a child with their backs to you, wearing yellow sewesters in what looked to look look to be long grass on a stormy day. I mean that that was quite appealing. I I don't think the tourism um, department in Kamala is fit for purpose. To be honest, yeah, uh, you know. We, we, we've tried saying, you know, come and see what we've done, uh, but there's no response. And um, it, it just goes against what Carmarthen uh, County Council sound bites are. And that is, we want to be the next big tourist destination. We want to be the cycle capital, cycling capital of Wales. Uh, it, it, you know, we, we've attracted the ladies' race, we've attracted the men's race. Mm. So that makes us. Think after? No, it actually doesn't. I, I, I guess you got more chance of these people coming to see you if you if you do something wrong. So deliberately breaching a bit of planning, or you know, uh, doing something a bit rather dodgy, and you'll have them all visiting you. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't. We've not, we've not done that. But no, uh, no. Uh, we, we've had to build the business um, on our own. Uh, we've we've had no support um, from either the Welsh Assembly or uh, Kamalian County Council. And that would be the same with more spaces. And, and what, if you don't mind me asking, what kind of sum of, of money are you talking about that's gone into Garnant there? Sorry? What, what, what kind of sum of money has gone into Garnant there? Oh, with that? Yeah. Those five lodges have cost 1.5 million. Right. And that's all, all come from directors and private investors. Yeah. Um, and the, the, the next part of that um, phase, the, the spa that we were talking about, is a further investment of 1.2 million. Yeah. There's not many people rushing to Ghana to spend that kind of money, are there? No. Um, and this is what we, we, we're trying to do is, is, yeah. is, is I, show... I think I'd put the red carpet out for you if you came to, 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 to Manadigari and get really. I think I'd put the red carpet <laughs> out. And that, that's the expression that most business people that I speak to um, with regards to grant processes, it's not fit for purpose in both Carmarthen County Council and the Welsh Assembly. Yeah. Um, you know, it needs a radical um, revamp. They need to speak to businesses, ask them, what do you need? How do we need to go about producing jobs? Mm. Because the jobs are there. It's just that we can't function within the grant system to provide the jobs that are so, you know, again, I go back, it's a category one deprived area. There are loads of people that would want 
really good, well-paid jobs yeah. in a nice environment and another five-star um, place that Will and Kamal and Shea can be proud of. Yeah. It's quite simple, really, yeah. but trying to build it is virtually impossible. And, and it's not as if we haven't got a track record, not as if we're saying we're going to build a golf course in Pembrey. Mm. We have already built out Breckenview. It's open for business. Mm. People are from all over staying and, you know, giving us massive five-star reviews. We've had people staying four times in a year. Now, that gives you real confidence in your mm. business and how, how wonderful um, guests are enjoying the experience of having that five-star experience with hot tub and sauna, etc. Mm. You know, all these things are providing um, the experience that people want to relax and chill, watch the wildlife, etc., etc. So why wouldn't then the Welsh Assembly and Camarthen County Council think, wow, this is great, it's got a track record, it's got five-star reviews everywhere, an award-winning um, you know, project, we should now be supporting that project to go further and provide the jobs that they're saying that they can provide. Mm. That is not, that's not that thing at all. Well, it's been great speaking to you and uh, I'll have to pop up sometime before the ministers rush to uh, to get you and the councillors <laughs> rush to get you on these buses that they, uh, they they seem to travel on or bicycles these days. I think the ministers are all travelling on bicycles at 15, 20 miles, probably maybe 25 miles an hour or breaking the speed limit. You never know. Because if you look at Pembroke, Pembroke runs on tourism. You know, it, it, it's, a, it's a massive part of their, um, their, their economy. If you ever want a business to fail, get a council to run it. <laughs> well, they're not here to answer, but I'm sure they'll enjoy the podcast anyway. And uh, who, <laughs> you know, let let us know if they if you have had any visitors, and uh, we'll 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 leave it there for now. But uh, Simon, many thanks for speaking to us, and uh, good luck with uh, the rest of it. Lovely, thank you very much, Alan. Uh, I think I'll, I'll cross my fingers to see if any councils turn up. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> You're listening to Life Stories on Talk Radio Wales. The people at the heart of your community telling it as it is.